Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, this is going to be Stephen Koch. Never heard of him, right? So he's a big shot banker from Chicago. He's had a very fruitful life. He seems to have done some really terrific things, but he was a financial advisor to Trump's campaign and then Trump's uh, uh, transition afterwards. So Stephen Koch, let's find out about him. Okay, so this will be the second or third time I've tried to film this. So let's try to get through it here uh, in one take. And uh, this is very short. And uh, Stephen Koch. So he was born in 1964 or 65 in Detroit, Michigan, and he was raised in Florida, Illinois, and uh, London, and he attended the United States Military Academy Preparatory School. He's the founder and former chairman and CEO of the Federal Savings Bank, a federally chartered national bank headquartered in Chicago, Illinois. In 1982, he enlisted in the United States Army and was honorably just discharged as a private first class before he was uh, early commissioned as an Army officer. He's a graduate of the United States Army Aviation School and served in both active and reserve status as a combat helicopter pirate, pilot, pirate, that's cool, helicopter pilot and uh, commander for over 16 years uh, with reserve. And uh, he's a 1988 graduate of the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. And in 1998, he received a Master of Business Administration degree from the Kellogg School of Management at Northwestern University. He had served his community uh, for numerous uh, civic and phil philanthropic boards, including as the chairman of the United States 10th Congressional uh, District's Service Academy Selection Committee and a certified leader in the Boy Scouts of America and on the board of the USO of Illinois. Nice. Uh, he's a nationally recognized expert in the fields of finance, economics, real estate finance, and national security military issues. Very interesting. And in 1995, he founded Chicago Bank Corp, which is one of the largest privately held uh, retail uh, mortgage banks in the country and was its president until it was absorbed into the Federal Savings Bank in 2014. Now, Cork had been named to the Trump campaign's economic advisory panel in 2016, and then in 2017, he served as a senior economic advisor to the president-elect of the United States and was nominated by Congressman Philip Crane, who I don't know who he is, and then appointed to the uh, United States Military Academy Preparatory School at West Point. Koch calls himself a centrist who backed President Obama in, 20, uh, in 2008, and he says he only met Trump three or four times at social or charitable events, and um, the, the situation is that Manafort, Paul Manafort, uh, first got in touch with Koch's uh, Federal Savings Bank of Chicago in April of 2016, Remember, he was serving uh, the Trump campaign in various uh, capacities, financial capacities, uh, 2016 and 17. And so uh, Manafort got in, in touch with him in 2016. According to uh, testimony by the bank's senior vice president at Manafort's August 2018 trial for fraud and tax evasion. So that is our buddy here, Stephen Koch, and let's see if there's anything that the cards can tell us uh, if he's been doing some bad stuff. So Le Grand Circus and Sideshow Tarot by Joe Lee. These are really terrific cards. They come in a very nice box. If you received them as a gift or gave them as a gift, you'd feel like, oh, that's a, that was a nice gift. And um, the cards themselves are really nice. Um, they're done in the style of sort of circus posters. And uh, the guidebook uh, is really a very nice little guidebook. This fellow Joe Lee uh, was a very interesting uh, person, or is a very interesting person, and uh, I want to find, there's a little bit here that talks about him, um, but he was a circus performer. He went to the Clown College in Florida, which I'm from Florida, and I'm very well with the Clown College here uh, uh, that uh, you can go to to get a, a degree in that. And then uh, he's done other things in his life, and then once he decided uh, that he would create uh, tarot cards, he uh, designed these um, to be so very useful. They're easy to use. 
Um, the art on them is amazing. And if you know your right away system, you're not going to have a problem, you know, deciphering uh, what these cards are, are going to mean. I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory and fun, fun, fun to look at. So, you know, I do this so that you can have a look at these cards. Uh, and, you know, if you're not a person who collects cards or looks at a bunch of tarot cards, otherwise you're only going to see the few cards that a reader pulls at a time. And uh, I think it's just that you're missing out on a lot. So, you know, this uh, Legrand uh, Circus Sideshow Tarot, I love using these. So Stephen Caught, Stephen Caught, you're such a smart guy. How did you get caught up, Caught, uh, in this uh, Paul Manafort and uh, President Trump um, insanity? I guess we'll just have to see and um, and uh, see what comes up for poor Stephen Caught. I mean, it seems like he lived such a, a terrific life. Was it all uh, colored in the back with something uh, evil, or was he just, you know? A financial advisor is available to whoever is, uh, you know, willing to pay for their services. Or, and, uh, you know, who's to say that you can't uh, trade your services for appointments in um, various government-inspired government positions. So, Stephen Koch, what in the world have you been doing? Are you a bad guy? One, two, three, four, five. Six. So we'll find out about you if you're part of that Trump circle in these first uh, six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stephen Koch, what is, who are you, buddy? Stephen Koch, who are you? Are you good or bad? Um, are you caught up in this whole Manafort Trump, uh, I'll do anything for money? Or are you just a smart guy who wasn't smart enough? Signifier card for this is ah, a balancing act, the two of cups. So yeah, you're just a businessman. That's who you are. You're willing to deal with whoever walks in the door if they meet your uh, requirements. Let's see if you got caught up in anything bad. The challenge to, you know, just being a Mr. Uh, here, let's uh, get together and, and make a party and make a deal. The challenge to that is, ah, of course it is. It's the five of wands, and the five of wands is disharmony, um, uh, un imbalance, as a matter of fact. So the challenge to this particular deal, I think, where you, where you should have stricken so many deals, for uh, favor and for money in the past was the um, the um, dis disharmony that's involved with all of this in Manafort and Trump. Uh, let's see if you if you uh, understood it. Uh, the base of this reading is then the uh, six of cups, and the six of cups is thinking is one things the way they used to be. So maybe you thought this was just another deal, another transaction that uh, you would come out of, and uh, somebody gives and somebody gets. The past of this reading then is the king of cups so this is the king of emotion and this fella in this past has certainly had some very high profile uh, uh, community uh, oriented so therefore very emotional passionate um, positions jobs influences uh has helped work with kids has worked with the communities in the sky of this reading ah of course is the four of swords and the four of swords tells us that you know what we better uh be careful we better lay still and understand where the pressure is coming from because if we wiggle around too much, we're going to get stuck through with all these swords. And this was going right through the head. So look at that. All the pressure points, the head, the shoulder, the elbow, and the hand. Wow. So, yeah, I think uh, you may have gotten in over your head. I wonder if you understood what's going on. The likely outcome for having gotten in bed with Paul Manafort and Trump, then ah, you come out as a star. So it looks like, um, you know, you will just be a, a, an innocent bystander, sort, sort of. So the last part of this, let's see if uh, you will actually get caught up in this investigation and, uh, get, and, and be seen as guilty. Will you be seen as guilty in this investigation with uh, Manafort Trump and money and all of that? So the uh, signifier card, or the self, the really self of that question, will you be caught up in this? Are you going to get caught up in this, in this insanity? And uh, this is the eight of pentacles, and the eight of pentacles is, you know, having... Um, having everything you need you know it's just really really being uh, in charge of everything that's going on there and uh, and knowing that you know you can get this you can get this down you can get this perfected you've done it so many times before why couldn't you do it this time it's just another deal um, with a, a payoff and a cost really that's all it was that's what the self of this is I think you were thinking it's just another deal it's real money involved uh, let's see how it works out the um, environment that that was in however was the uh, Sun and the sun, what number is the, wow, the sun is the major arcana. And this is just really, everything is bright, right on top of the situation. And um, it's, it's clear, there's uh, revelations, it's enlightened. So 
probably what happened is this is another transaction and then it became clear maybe it's a little more than that but how far did you take it the hopes and the fears for all of this then uh, page of cups so the page of cups is a great big offer of compassion of emotion and maybe that's what you're hoping you get uh, in consideration for your involvement in this a big a great big offer of, um, of, uh, of okay we understand but the likely outcome for all of this for you is uh, the four of pentacles and that's really holding on to everything you've got see there's the pentacles one two three four he's got one on his hat for public display he's really grasping onto the other one a couple under his feet so i think what's going to happen here is you're going to come out okay stephen caught we're going to find out you just got involved in one deal too many here so just for a quick recap so i think what it was is in the beginning the uh, signifier he was just thought it was another deal you know all these deals have some element of something that maybe you don't like but they're all deals and uh, then once he got involved in it, he saw there's a lot of disharmony and, uh, and, and worry signals uh, gone up. Uh, he hoped that it would just be like every other deal he'd ever done in the past. And um, as the uh, King of Cups, he really is looking uh, towards uh, what, uh, how can he be in control of the emotions of the situation. But, you know, what we're telling you here, Stephen, is that you needed to be, be sure that you didn't get stung by those, uh, those swords. And uh, the likely outcome of the whole thing was that you were going to come out as a star, you know, no problem. And so, but to drill down to see if you if you get, do get caught up in this and get uh, uh, in trouble, uh, you started out as a self with this uh, eight of pentacles, you know, really, you know, you thought you'd honed your craft and you understood what's going on, and then, then, ding, the light went off. Here's the sun. Um, as the page of cups, you're hoping that you get some credit for all the good that you've done, and it looks like with this four of coins that that's what's going to happen. You're going to hold on to your own, but um, you're going to have to play through. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.